welcome back. Uh, we're going to return to the sutras. We were working a couple weeks ago with the sutras in the 130s that give suggestions for possible means to focus the mind. Um, one you may recall was uh, how to carry oneself in the world, the attitude that you hold to sort of someone who is, for example, suffering, you offer a compassion. Um, we also talked about 134, which says you can lengthen the breath and hold after exhale. So the next one in this list says that we can use our senses to focus the mind, um, which is an interesting proposition because often the senses unfocus the mind, uh, but we can draw them in. In the Bhagavad Gita, um, Krishna says, the mind can be your best friend or your worst enemy, and similar uh, um, as far as the senses go and bringing us into focus in practice. There's an image from the Upanishads of a chariot being driven by the charioteer um, and the passenger sitting in the back. The chariot is the body. The charioteer is the um, buddhi, the wise part of yourself. The passenger is actually the purusha, the true self. The reins are the mind and the horses five horses, represent the senses. So you can see that if the horses are just allowed to be pulled wherever they're diverted, it's going to be a wild ride and you're not necessarily going to get where you want to go. But um, with the hand sitting on the reins, with the mind directed, the senses can actually serve you. So in the um, Vedic structure, yogic structure, there are five senses, the ones you're familiar with, smell, taste, uh, sight, touch, and hearing. Uh, I listed those from most gross to most subtle. The sense of hearing is considered, considered the most subtle, most refined sense because it's hard to get a, a grasp on. If you can't hold it or see it, um, of course, it's real. I'm communicating with you right now via the subtle element of space. You hear my voice. Um, so we're going to use that sense of hearing to focus the mind during this practice. And um, we will be focusing on the sound of the breath. So I just want to briefly review the Ujjayi um, breath. Hi, Diana, and hi, Mom and Dad. Good. Okay. So, Ujjayi breath, uh, it means the breath of victory. And I would assume here it's the victory over the wandering mind, the victory to bring it to one-pointedness. It's performed as though you're making an ah sound. When you do that, it closes up the throat a little bit, and then you close the lips on top of that. And it's valving the breath. We use sometimes the hands to valve the breath, sometimes the tongue. Whenever we're valving, we're decreasing the volume that's coming in. So when the, a smaller volume of breath comes in at any moment, the breath can be extended. And as you are also aware, I believe, we always are working to lengthen the breath relative to whatever your resting breath might be and make it smooth and subtle. So just to begin, I'd like you to take a couple, a uh, few uh, ujjayi breaths. Do that whispered ah sound with your lips open for a moment. So really feel what's going on. It's in the throat, way down here. It's not up here in the soft palate. Um, it's in deep in the throat. 
After you can feel that location, let your lips close and keep going. Make it rather strong to start. So if I were in the room with you, I would be able to hear all of that breath. What we are working towards is to gradually make the breath more and more inward. Um, refining the breath and refining the sense of hearing so that rather than being pulled outward, it is drawn inward. And this is to the end of stilling the mind. This morning I was practicing early and it was quiet and I was listening to my breath and my mind was focused and inward and then the siren went off at about 5.30 and instantly, of course, my attention goes, my thoughts start moving, oh, I hope everyone's okay, I wonder what's happening, thinking about people jumping out of bed, going to uh, meet whatever the emergency is. Uh, so my mind was taken far away, and that's what the senses do for us most often. And that is not to discount their important role in our lives. We want our senses to observe the world around us but we also want to be able to pull them in. So for the next hour, we're working to pull inward. We come into Samastiti. Find the even balance on the feet. Once you feel connected to the feet, draw your attention up the body. The sound, as I told you, is associated with the element of space, which conveniently for us is located in the throat. So we're going to be working on sound element and awareness in the throat um, to draw attention into the body, into the experience that you're having right at this moment. With your lips gently closed, Find your ujjayi breath and go ahead and let it be rather loud to begin with, not so subtle so you can really hear it and really start to focus on the feeling in the throat and the sound inside your head. And go ahead and keep a rather robust ujjayi going as we move into Tadasana. We're going to take four repetitions and each time stay for an additional breath. You're listening to the breath. There's a little feedback loop that happens. You listen to the breath. You hear if the breath is subtle. If not, you try to smooth. Let's say smooth for now. Try to make the breath smooth. Listen to it. Make it smooth in response. So four times through Tadasana, adding a breath of stay with each um, progressive repetition. Listen to the sound of the breath as you inhale. Raise the arms out and up and lift the heels. And as you exhale, lower the arms and lower the heels. Keep listening to the sound of your breath. We're going to lift again and stay for a breath. Inhale. Observe the sound of the breath. Stay and exhale. Continue to listen to the ujjayi breath. Stay and inhale. And down with the exhale, hearing the sound of your own breathing. Coming up to stay for two. We'll take one more repetition. This time you stay up for three complete breaths. 
Continue to hear the sound of your own breath. The breath, the sound is made in the throat and heard in the ear. When you complete the three breaths, come down with the exhale. Keep listening to the sound of the breath. Then relax the breath. Listen to the sound of the relaxed breath. It will be different. We're going to move into Virabhadrasana and to bring a little more attention to the throat if it's comfortable as we move into the posture you can lift the chin just a little bit. Be careful as you lift the chin that you don't just clench the head back. Um, you can actually hear my voice this is restricting in my throat and also not so good in my neck. Um, but if you just lift the breastbone and lift and open the notch of the neck my throat is not constricted. You can hear that I'm speaking freely and we'll still be able to breathe well. With the pelvis staying steady, the right toes will turn out, left foot comes forward, feel your connection down through both feet. To begin with, the chin is dropped, the shoulders are easy. You're going to have a sense of the heart being open to begin and let that sense of the open lifted chest move up into the throat as we come into the posture. Continue to listen to the sound of the breath. Inhale, raise the arms out and up as you bend the front knee. Open the chest and open the throat. And exhale, lower the arms, drop the chin, straighten the legs, square the pelvis. Staying for a breath, inhale. Stay and listen to the breath while you exhale. Drop the shoulders a little bit. Stay and listen to the breath while you inhale. And exhale, arms come down, shoulders drop, chin comes down. We're gonna go into the posture again. Stay for two complete breaths. Listen to your inhale. Open the chest, open the throat. Stay for the exhale, listen, and inhale, and another breath cycle, and down with the exhale, make sure that the chin comes down, the shoulders relax, one more time, three breaths up in the posture. Listen to the sound of your own breathing. When you're ready, bring the left foot back to meet the right. Find your even, easeful samastiti. Relax the breath. Keep listening inward. Feel free to close your eyes if that helps. Now we'll do the 
same sequence on the other side, keeping the pelvis square. Turn the left toes out. Bring the right foot forward. Square the hips. Relax the shoulders, drop the chin down. Allow the chest to be lifted. Lips gently closed. Hear the sound of your own breath. Inhale, raise the arms and bend the knee. Open the front of the throat slightly. And release with the exhale, dropping the chin down, softening the shoulders, steady on both feet, square pelvis. Inhale, lift again. Stay for a breath this time. Down with the exhale. Alright. We're going to stay for two breaths this time. Keep listening to the sound of your breath. with the exhale. One final time. Three complete breaths up in the pose. Chest lifted, throat gently open. Feel in the throat and listen to the sound coming from there. Inhale to lift. Three breath cycles starting with the exhale. listening to the breath. And down with the exhale. And return to Samasti. As you rest, Listen to the sound of the relaxed breath. We'll move into Utkatasana now. Four repetitions, no staying, uh, but we will take the arms down after each one. Four repetitions of the half squat. Uh, please notice as we go through each repetition, can you keep an even sound in the breath or does it vary because your heart starts beating um, and the breath might want to speed up a little bit? See how even you can keep it. Jane will stay down now as you inhale. Raise the arms forward and up. The exhale, your knees bend, fold down. Keep listening to the breath. Inhale, raise the arms and open the chest. Come up, keep the breath smooth and exhale. Arms down the front. Three more times just like that. Inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, fold down. Keep hearing your own breath inside the ears. Listen as you inhale and come up. And exhale, 
the arms down the front, keeping the breath long at least relatively long and smooth. Twice more. listening to the sound of your breath. Keep it smooth. And when you're done, relax. Listen to the sound of the relaxed breath. Now you have heard me say, I'm sure, no excess effort. So if we do the ujjayi really strongly and loudly every time, in some cases that's going to be excess effort, more than we need. Some cases, like perhaps that last posture, you need a little bit of oomph behind you, and the louder breath might help you. Um, but what we want ultimately is to bring the breath more inward more subtle, more quiet. So begin to think of that. We'll take a wide stance for the twisted triangle. And I want you to think about bringing the level of the breath to only the level that you need it. So it may not be maximum force. Um, keep it moderate. You do want to hear it yourself. But ultimately, your neighbor might not hear it if you're sharing the room with somebody. We're back to our um, four repetitions, adding stays as we go. Continuing to focus on the sound of the breath. Inhale, raise the arms out and up. And exhale, twist, right hand to the left foot or leg. Turning the head to look up, inhale, coming up to the top. Chin stays down as the arms come up, and exhale, twist the other way. And rise to the top on the inhale. And bring the arms down to the sides with the exhale. Inhale, float the arms. And exhale, twist down to the left side. We'll stay for a breath. Listen to the breath. Let it be a little more subtle now. And float up to the top on the inhale. Chin down, but the chest fills completely. Exhale, twist down to the right side. Turning the chest, turning the head to look up. Stay for a breath. And float up with the inhale, coming to the center. Exhale, the arms slowly down. Keep hearing the breath. Inhale, float the arms out and up. Twist down to the left side with the exhale. Stay for two breaths at your own count and listen.
Inhale, float up to the top. Exhale to the other side, again for two breaths, focusing on the sound of the breath. When you've completed the two breaths, inhale to the top. And bring the arms back down with the exhale. Final repetition. Three breaths to each side. I'm going to let you count them yourself so you can really tune in. What's happening in your throat? What's happening inside your ears? Press down to the left side and stay for three breaths. Make it smooth. Inhale to the top, exhale to the other side for three breaths there. Again, at your own count, listening to the flow of the breath in and out, keep it smooth. to the top when you're done, and lowering the arms down with the exhale. And return to Samastiti. Relax the breath. Listen to the natural flow of the breath. As we move through the rest of the practice, I'd like you to continue to be aware of making the breath more and more subtle. What's the maximum subtlety you can have in each one of these situations? We're going to move through a Uttanasana, forward bend with the legs comfortably straight. Again, adding stays as we do the repetition. Chin is down the whole time. Inhale, float the arms forward and up. Feel the breath in the throat, here inside your ears. Bend down as you exhale. Legs are comfortably straight, neck and shoulders relaxed, head heavy. Inhale, float the arms forward to open the chest. Keep the chin down, come all the way up. And exhale, lower the arms down the front. Three more times, we're gonna add some stays while you're still particularly tuned in to the sound of the breath. Chin stays down as you inhale, arms forward and up. And then down with the exhale. Let's stay for one breath. 
Listen to the inhale. Listen to the exhale. And thumb up to the top with the inhale. Chin down, chest open. Exhale, arms down the front. We'll increase the state to two breaths on the next repetition. Inhale, raise the arms. Exhale, bend down, keep hearing your breath. Relax the neck and shoulders, stay for two breaths. Now slow the breath and make it subtle. the two breaths, come up with your inhale, lower the arms with the exhale, and the final repetition, you're on your own, three breaths down in the forward bend, hearing the sound of your breath. When you're all done, returning to Samastiti, releasing the control of the breath, we let go of the Ujjayi vow, let the breath flow, and continue to hear it. Prepare to come down onto the back now. So when we are deeply concentrated, uh, we will be less distractible. Uh, I suppose if I had really been deeply meditating, I might not have heard the fire siren this morning. I don't know if I'm ever at that point. Um, I know that people are. Um, but certainly I've had the experience where um, a sound can be in my consciousness and then completely leave it um, because I'm concentrating elsewhere. So let's strive for that for now. I'm going to come down onto the back. Take a moment to rest comfortably on your back. Knees bent. Or you can have your legs straight or your knees hugged to the chest for a moment if you need to. Relax the breath. Let the body drop into the floor. We'll move in 
into the desk pose. The Pada Pintam, the pelvic uh, tilt. Nothing behind the head, just for while we do this posture, please. Awareness on the throat. You'll notice when we lift our hips up, it'll lengthen the back of the neck and we're going to feel um, a little bit of compression in the uh, pit of the throat. Be aware that that's, that is the effect we're going for, but I want you to feel your throat and hear your breath for repetitions. And again, we'll gradually stay. Keep it subtle. Notice perhaps you do need to increase the uh, vigor of the ujjayi as we start staying for a longer amount of breaths, but don't anticipate that. Just notice it and do it if necessary. Eyes closed, attention in the throat and the ears. Inhale and listen as you raise your arms and your hips up. Feel the throat gently compress. And then exhale, arms down, hips down. Hearing the breath move out of the body. And repeat that with a breath of one stay. Inhale, raise the hips and the arms, stretch up and back. Feel the length at the back of the neck, a little compression in the throat, and this time we stay. Listen to the breath. After one breath, lower down with the exhale. Keep listening. Inhale again, lift the hips, the arms. This time we stay for two breaths, please listen. And lower with the exhale. One more repetition. We're going to be up for three breaths. Make sure you get the full three breaths. Since we lift on the inhale, we go exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. So three breaths up in the pose, counting the breaths and listening to the sound of the breath. Inhale, lift up. Stay and listen for three breath cycles. And once you're down, the breath relaxes. Listen to the resting breath. If your back is asking for a stretch, bring the knees into the chest. Keep relaxing the breath and listening. Try closing the eyes. Bring all of your attention to the sense of hearing, direct it inward. Now we're going to bring the legs straight out and do a variation of Tadaka Mudra. Again, one, I'm sorry, no stay, then one, then two, then three breaths up in the pose. Eyes closed, attention on the sound of the breath, hearing inside the ears and noticing what happens with the throat. 
Inhale, lift the arms up and back, bring them towards the floor behind you. And exhale, bring the arms back down to the sides. We'll do the same motion three more times, adding stays. Inhale, raise the arms up and back. This time, stay as you exhale. See if you can flatten the spine towards the floor as you exhale. Keep the back as flat as possible as you inhale. And bring the arms back down to the sides with the exhale. You can let everything relax. Just take a relaxed breath. And then go into the pose again. Two breaths this time. Inhale, lift up and back. Listen as you exhale, flatten the spine down. And listen as you inhale. One more breath there. Keep flattening the spine down, imprinting the back ribs towards the floor. And after two breaths, lower the arms down, let everything relax. Take a relaxed breath. And one more repetition, three breaths. I'll let you count those breaths on your own. Inhale, lift up. Three breath cycles. Exhale, flatten the spine and keep it flattening for the rest of the stay. When you're finished, arms lower down on the exhale. Let everything relax for a moment. Rest the breath. Listen to the relaxed breath. Slowly bring both knees into the chest. Feel free to have a support behind your head now if you like. Exhale, draw the knees in close, hearing the sound of the subtle long exhale. Inhale, moving the knees out. Slow, subtle inhale. Three more times like that. Hear your breath. Keep it subtle. I'm going to extend the left leg out onto the floor and go into a spinal twist for four breaths. Relax the right arm on the floor quite a bit below shoulder height today. I um, don't want to emphasize
emphasize the shoulder stretch. I want to emphasize the head turn and the sensation in the throat. So inhale of breath, soft and long. Exhale, draw the right knee towards the floor and the left. Just go as far as that's comfortable. Turn the head to the right. And now we'll count four breaths, listening to the breath. When you finish your four breaths, come to the back. Bring both knees into the chest for a moment. Head into the center, relax the neck, relax the breathing. Hear the sound of the relaxed breath. And we'll extend the right leg out onto the floor. Left arm down at the side, below shoulder height. Inhale, slow, soft breath. Exhale, draw the knee across the, um, towards the floor on the right. Turn the head over to the left side. And count four subtle breaths here. both knees back into the chest. Close the eyes. Relax the breath. Draw the sense of hearing back inside the head, inside the body. And bring the feet back to the floor. Relax the arms at the sides. Settle for a moment there. Now, hopefully you were able to have the breath become a little bit subtle as you were there. I don't know. Of course, I wasn't there listening to you. Um, but we're going to now move into Downward Facing Dog. And if you have felt the breath become a little bit more quiet, a little more subtle, I'd like you to try and apply that here in the Down Dog. Um, obviously, this is a posture that requires strength and um, fortitude.
attitude. So you might have to get a little bit more intense with the Ujjayi, but do that consciously and see how subtle you can keep it. <clears throat> so we're going to come to all fours, and once again, we'll do four repetitions and increase the amount of time that we stay. Continuing to focus on the sound of the breath, draw the chin down towards the notch of the neck to um, close the throat down a little bit posturally, and make the breath as subtle as it can be in the face of this challenge. Begin by inhaling ujjayi, that whispered ah, soft and long. Exhale, tuck the toes and lift the hips towards the ceiling. Knees can remain bent. And then inhale, knees down to the floor. So we're going up three more times and we'll gradually stay. Exhale, lift. Do what you need to do to adapt the posture. Stay for one breath. Listen to the breath. And then inhale, the knees down to the floor. Keep the breath subtle. Up again on the exhale for two breaths. Please count your breaths. Keep them soft, long, complete, subtle. After your two breaths, you inhale the knees to the floor. When you're ready, lift one more time. Stay up for three complete breaths, listening to the sound of your breath. When you're done with the three, inhale the knees to the floor. Exhale, bring the hips back to the heels, relax the neck. And inhale, lift up to all fours. Open the chest. Three more times. Hear the sound of your breath as you exhale, hips back to the heels, arms relaxed, head hanging. Inhale, subtle inhale, opening the chest. Two more times, please. Take a moment in the child's pose when you're done. Relax the breath. Then come out onto your stomach. And we'll bring the arms to a cactus position. Forehead or cheek on the floor. Legs where they're comfortable. Inhale, raise the chest and the head. And exhale, lower down. Forehead or opposite cheek down to the floor. Inhale. Raise the chest and the head. Stay for a breath and listen to the sound of your breath. And lower with the exhale. 
Exhale, forehead or opposite cheek to the floor. Subtle inhale, lift again, head and chest. Two complete breath cycles this time. Keep listening to the sound of the breath. Down with the exhale, reversing the head or returning to the forehead. And one more time. Inhale, lift. Take three full breaths. Try closing your eyes and focusing completely on the sound of the breath. Slow it down. When you've had your three repetitions, you'll lower on an exhale. Come on and just place your hands underneath your forehead. Relax the breath. Let the front of the body sink into the floor. And then turn over onto your back. Bring the knees into the chest. One hand on each knee, feet slightly separated, relax the feet at the end of the legs. Eyes closed, very gentle ujjayi here please. Inhale, let the chest expand and the arms straighten so the knees move away from the chest and the belly. And exhale, draw the thighs in. Let the belly hug to the spine, the lower back lengthen. Three more times. Continue to hear the sound of the breath. See how quiet you can make it now. If it would be helpful either for your body, your back, or your attention, you can do that four more times, continuing to focus on the sound of the breath. If you're feeling ready for relaxation, place the feet down and extend the legs out straight. Shut yourself out on the back. You can use support behind the head or behind the knees if your back is tight. Let the legs be comfortably separated. The arms comfortably away from the body with the palms up. Close the eyes. The music for the relaxation is the inward focus on the breath. Hear the sound of your own relaxed breath. It's quite challenging to observe the breath without changing it. So you can um, notice that, how 
in the attempt to hear the breath, you automatically may lengthen it or manipulate it some way. As much as possible, relax control of the breath. Tune the ears inward. If that's a little too subtle just to hear it, you can feel the breath come in the nose, move down the throat. Take a few minutes here, letting the body relax. The sense of hearing, direct your attention inward. Hear the breath. Just notice if your sense of hearing pulled you away from your focus at all during the relaxation. Bring it back. Hear the sound of the breath. Gently begin to move yourself out of the relaxation Move slowly, stretch. Rolling to the right side as you're ready. Pausing for a moment on the right side with the knees drawn into the chest. And then coming to sit comfortably up on a cushion or a chair. 
Finding a place where the support beneath you helps the spine to be lifted, the chest to be open. Chin dropped, shoulders relaxed. We'll continue to work with Ujjayi. We're going to experiment with the subtle, subtle, subtleized, subtleizing of the breath, the refining of the breath. Um, so we're going to do sets of four, three sets of four. First one, very long, strong Ujjayi. Um, Martin calls it Darth Vader breath. So really um, put it out there for four cycles of Ujjayi. Then we're going to back off and make it moderate for four breaths. And then the final four breaths as quiet and refined as possible. Um, sometimes described as cow shalom, which means silky. So a very subtle, smooth thread of breath. It doesn't mean it should be less long. It still should be long and it still should be smooth. It just gets very subtle. So we'll begin with four breaths with that whispered ah being quite loud. Or breathing through the nose for all of these. Do four strong ujjayi. Listen to the sound, feel it. All these breaths are long and smooth. For the next four, bring it down a notch, moderate, but still audible. Keep it long and smooth. When you finish that second set of four for the final set as quiet and refined as subtle as possible still ujjayi but very inward And when you're done with that final set of four, relax the breath and keep the breath and the focus very subtle and inward. Watch the relaxed breath now. You can watch it at the tip of the nose or you can watch it down the throat, wherever it's easiest. I should not say watch, I should say listen to the sound of the breath. Take 
with this simple meditation for about four minutes. Keep hearing the sound of your own subtle, relaxed breath. No longer is this pranayama, now we're moving into concentration meditation. your eyes closed, let your sense of hearing open out to the space around you. And slowly open the eyes.
So we can use any sense object, any object as a form of support for meditation, uh, as long as it is sattvic, as long as it brings the mind in a positive direction. Um, and you can see the senses can equally serve you and hinder you. Um, at night these days, the sound of crickets around here is just sublime, wonderful. I love it. Um, and so that sound I find supportive and calming. So even when my sense goes outward, I can find uh, support there. The sound of the kids in the next room listening to their things or playing their games, that is sound that is distracting. Both of those are just the sense objects, the sense uh, organ doing what it does, taking in sounds that come through space. Uh, so we can choose any sense object, it doesn't have to be a sound, um, but any sense object can support us and all of the senses can be trained to turn inward and equally they can all distract us outward. So it's an interesting conundrum. Uh, so may you hear many wonderful sounds today and see beautiful things, smell wonderful things, taste wonderful things. It's a quite a bonanza for the senses these days. Enjoy this late summer and um, nice to be here with you and see you Thursday. Thanks.